It's time for another project that you, your family and everyone else can get involved with doing. Howdy doody, Punch and Judy, can you believe that clip is a year old? Hello, it's of course me, the Invert Variant. Thank you for coming and joining us here today on the channel. Uh, subscribe, likes, thumbs and slum thumbs and likes and all that stuff. Yes, thank you. Um, it looks like there's a cat inside the, 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 oh, he's running away. He's running away. He must have known I'll speak about him. Oh, look at that magic trick. He's moved into the next one. Anyway, that video clip opening thing was a year old this month. And this is what we're talking about. I'm going to quickly zoom through the, the video that was posted a year ago and then we're going to have an update uh, and see just how well it's fared uh, over this last year. Now, this was inspired by Life in Jars. Um, let's just crack on with a, a brief summary of what we got up to. So we got a jar. We filled it up. Everything was gathered from this site and we chucked it in the jar. Just like that, yep, chucked it in, good and proper. Then we filled it up with the water, also gathered from exactly the same site that the substrate dirt came from, and we filled that up all the way to almost to the top. And then added in some plant matter, also yet again gathered from exactly the same spot, and we sealed it up with some cling film and some hessian just to finish it off, and then it was just a matter of leaving it all to set. <music> So that was that, we went down to a local area of body of water, uh, liquid stuff, and we gathered dirt from the bottom of the river. We gathered water from the river, and we gathered uh, plant life from the river. And we threw it all into a jar, we sealed it off with some cling film, uh, finished it off to kind of tidy it up with a bit of hessian. We have had it sat in the windowsill, not directly in the windowsill, off to the sort of side. And yeah, let's just see how it has got on over this last year of sitting in exactly the same spot with little to no interference from us. So the first thing you're going to notice, possibly, is there's loads of uh, sort of like duckweed floating on the surface. It's almost like a forest of roots spreading down, all the way down. As we move down, you'll see the plant life has grown, drastically grown. And we have all kinds of, now these ones here that you'll see, these actually break the water surface and will flower at the top. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of uh, the scientific names for some of these plants. I do apologise. Um, but we'll see the plants have created a, a sort of cycle because these will die off again. Uh, from what I've seen these die off during the winter months and start to regrow and as I've said will flower up at the surface as the months move on. And I'm absolutely loving how this jar has progressed through the year. Now when we start to add some light into the mix, look at all these microscopic little organisms.
so far you'll see that the plant life is absolutely thriving in there more so in the, in the front of the jar where it's getting more of the sun towards the back you can see it's a bit more kind of brittle looking and dying off then down at the bottom we have a flurry of life it's just absolutely teeming with life down at the bottom there amongst all the sediment and stuff but what about larger specimens what else have we got living in that jar let's go have a wee look That ram's horn is absolutely beautiful. Everybody knows I love my ram's horn snails, and that one is certainly no less than these guys. In fact, I think the colorations on that is just the yellow and the gold and everything just uh, it blew me away when it actually flipped and I had that micro lens on. But anyway, is there anything bigger than a ram's horn snail? Let's go have a look. <laughs> So I'm really pleased so far with what's happening within our, our miniature ecosphere. Yeah, me too, year old me. A huge thank you. Ach, nae bother, year old me. You're looking good, mate. You're looking good. Or you were looking good. Now you look like me. And that is that. That is our ecosphere one year later. And I absolutely love it. It was a no-cost project that absolutely anybody can do. And it's been fascinating watching it kind of evolve and change over the year. Uh, in the seasons as I say that flower will grow and flower at the top of the surface and then die off and we won't see it again for another year um, but anyway that is it for me let me know what you think of this project do you remember the initial setting up of the the ecosphere is it something you're now considering doing yourself having seen just how much it can change over the course of a year it's never been opened ever since it was sealed it has remained entirely sealed and self-sustainable um, so that is it for me. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please do pop your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this project and as I say if you've followed its journey over the course of the year. Um, thank you ever so much and we shall see you in the next video. Remember those thumbs and the, the subscribe-y thingy-ma-bob. Help me, I've been stuck at the same number now for a wee while. <laughs> Help me move on and get past this. Sorry for the cough, it's a hay fever, not the over the little bit of the coughing thing. Anyway, Goodbye, goodbye, and thank you, and goodbye, and goodbye, and thank you, goodbye.